It's so funny that I know where the pink warp gate is. And it's either pink or red, whatever you think of, but I always call it pink warp gate. I, as a kid, have always gotten lost in that segment. And as a, in my speed ran the game, I was nervous there too. But, I've managed to figure out where that warp gate is because of the many years I've played this game and the many times I've played this game. So no matter how long it's been, I would always remember how to play it because I have played this game so many times. So if I'm remembering correctly, for one thing I didn't see if that was it. I'm pretty sure that was it. Yes, because there's that, and then there's the end of chapter 4. Like, the complete end. And I know where all of this is. But I'm using Dash L all the way. I still have, I still have yet to get the block block. And I still have yet to make the block meal. This is a slow block. I just needed it for that reason. I think I had to deal with them. That was awesome that area. Crap. There's not what I was trying to do. Ah, good. Guys, darn it. I still have yet to have it happen, but it has happened before. Those pig rhythms have a rare chance of dropping mystery boxes. Okay, sleep over here right away. I think I I think I can use it use it here to get the robot card, my most favorite boss in the game. Surprisingly enough. Max HP, highest in the game, attack 4, defense 3. This is Mr. L's hovering head-shaped robot. He must have tricked it out with all kinds of weapons. I guess that means Mr. L is a pretty awesome inventor, huh? I'd say. I actually really loved Robot. He was one of my favorite bosses in the game. Robot L type, max HP 64, attack 5, defense 4. Iconic HP. This is a souped up version of Mr. L's robot, but weaker. It looks like he went all out with the customizations. Too bad they don't help much. I'll do, that'll make sure I, kn I know for certain if I have or not. And even if I did, it, there's still a worthwhile thing over here, and I have, but there's also the coin block that I'm going to use Bowser for. Eleven coins instead of nine. I almost have the complete. I almost have have the complete amount of coins that I've had that I've had before. It's all thanks to piggerisms. And that's the sort of funny thing about this game is that there are actually three chap three segments to go to for for getting the best coin grind. One being this chapter segment, one being chapter 7-3, and one being chapter 8-4. Or chapter 8-3, I think it actually was. Am I finally gonna get a block block from these Eligons? Or am I remembering wrong that I have actually made the block meal, but yet thought I chose to ignore... I thought I, well, I thought I didn't make the block meal because I was feigning ignorance in in trying to make these guys drop it, drop it instead. This segment, along with chapter one four, are the only segments in the game that have the song of when you're about to get the pure heart 
and what ends up happening is you just talk to them until they give you the pure heart. Like they talk all about what happens to the prognosticus and the fortune heroes. But these are the only segments in the game that has this theme. Mommy, the world is safe, Squirp. Squirps was really sad when you left us. Whoa. But Squirps knew what a big responsibility he had. So Squirps didn't cry, Mommy. But Squirps doesn't have to hold it in anymore, does he? Mommy, Scripts will restore Scorpio someday, okay? So, please continue to watch over me, Scorp. That's, that's so sweet. It's even cooler that you can actually flip in 3D and see the whole statue like that. Are you kidding me? I was on the side of that. Huh. But, that was... But that is very touching. Even more touching that there's a thing above Scorp... Scorpina. That is in HP plus. That's that. Then there's then there's the gist of getting that stored in. Even funnier how you can choose to use that, but yet again I say that I won't because I. And it's sort of funny because the next time I play Super Paper Mario, there's going to be a challenge of me playing through the game without buying a single item to see how far I get. And that includes even completing a flip side and flop side pivot several hundred trials, but that also means not 100% not of the game. And then when it comes to 100% of the game, then I will have to buy every item. But I won't really have to worry about 100% of the game because this is what, that is what I'm doing in this LP. But the next LP that I do of this game, I don't know if that will happen. I will do it without buying a single item. Or I can challenge myself even more. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm going the wrong way. I could challenge myself even more to try to beat this game without taking any damage. Which means even battling every boss without taking any hits. And if I fail, restarting from the save point, from where I have not taken a single hit. The hardest part would be battling Brobat all type without taking any damage. And battling the final boss without taking any, any damage. And Count Black is actually one of the simpler ones, I just have to focus hard on that. But Super Dementio, I'll say this, I've not been able to prove it because it was deleted. I did defeat Super Dementia without taking a single hit. Because, canonically, I would have said this in the true finale, this was my first LP ever. Like, I LP'd this game from recording from the 3DS camera, then recorded on my phone camera and uploaded it to YouTube, but it was super blurry at the time, so nobody was able to see very well. They thought the videos were terrible. I deleted the videos thinking that it was gonna fix things, but I actually deleted the whole thing. But despite how unfortunate that was, it actually got me into making these LPs more clear, hence that's what I'm doing now. But yet there's still some mistakes made where I end up with microphones muting or the audio being echoey or even just it not being absolutely perfect hence being like this for instance where I don't even know if the audio is like super loud for you guys or not so I end up going on negative 19 decibels to think that it will work out for it for all of you but ends up not working at all even though I have no idea why and I changed the notches of my mic volume to see if that works and turned it up by a notch yes but that's just because I'm like ultra panicking on the fact that you haven't been able to hear me the entire time even though my audio was on a perfect level. And that's just because the Wii games are louder than the Switch games. And it's, re and it's ridiculous how that works. But now it's time for me to see what to pick up. And what I'm going to pick up 
is I'm going to pick up the I already stored the power plus I thought of storing more things but I can't so what I'm going to pick up is the courage shell your buckets are stuffed go on live a little I did not know they were stuffed it's sort of funny how he says that go on live a little oh you know what I'm going to use up the horse tail then I'm going back in it's getting stuffier and stuffier in my slots I'm not it's like, I'm so good at this game that the inventory you see is what, is what I have. And it's like, the life shrooms I'm keeping for a good reason. For HP, HP plus and power plus, you guys will hate me for this, but I am going to sell those items. I'm also going to see Flynn and see, and see what items he has for me to buy, even though I'm not going to buy anything. From him, I'm just gonna see what he has. Unless he has a card, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't. He does. Shooting star. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I could buy. I could buy the power block actually and sell that to the market after I cook into a megaton meal. Or I could, I could I could yet again buy the shooting star and turn that into a meteor meal, then sell it to the market, getting 80 coins from it, like an additional 80 coins from it. Hence the hence the fact that I am doing so. There's always like a twist. It's like you never know what items is gonna come from the maps, even even though I'm betting there's so many people that probably already know it's because they've played this game so much to know, or they just have a way better memory than I do. I suck at memorizing things. But, oops, I did not mean to say that. I meant to say sell. I'm selling the Meteor Meal to get 85 more coins from that. I'm gonna double check. So the golden chocolate bars are sold for half the price as they were bought. The gradual syrup is sold for 50 coins. The honey candy is sold for 24 coins. The fresh pasta bunch is sold for half the paying price, I think. I'm not gonna sell the shrimp shake. I'm not gonna sell the peachy peach. So I am good. I can even just pick up some golden leaves and turn those into gold bars and then sell those off. I can even buy ca some cards from the catch card shop. Or buy some... I don't even know why I went down all the way because that was not wise. But I did. I could, I could sell some things to make the buying easier for this, for this guy. Makes it all the better when I go recipe hunting. I'm gonna buy all of the maps I can, which looks like 230, 260, I can buy all the way up to 34, which is not enough for the map part, I don't, I don't think. Yeah, because 40 is not the max. I think it's 48. Chapter 6, like I said, is the only chapter that you, that has nothing for the map. That's all. So now to see what, what is there before I end things. I'm gonna save off screen. 5 1, the very beginning, where Flint Cragley is. 5 1 again, end of it. 5 2, at the volcano. 5 2 again, at the fire. And then 5 3, at the very end. So, yes, that means I will have to explore a bunch. Actually, I gotta ch double check something. Did I go to the Itty Bit store in Flossside? Or did I not? If I have, then you will know that. But I don't know it by wording. I have. Whoop. Oh, well. Hey, Bobby. What you doing? Smelly herb. That's all. Come back to me. Buy some more maps from this guy. So, in math, I can't buy every map. 200, 260, 330, 410. So it's just five maps. But, I'm only gonna buy up to the 37th map.
Alright, so, am I right to do that or do I need to buy another one? I'm pretty sure not. I'm gonna double check. The 37th map was the end of chapter 5. 98 coins. I can't help but check. Because what if I actually had missed... Nope, that's chapter 7 one. And like I said, there is no chapter 6 in these maps. So it's pretty much at, at most, 6 maps here that is chapter 7, and 6 maps here, or 5, that is chapter 8. Or it's 5 maps here that is chapter 7, and 6 maps here that is chapter 8. But now we've gotten everything for chapter 5, and now we are ready to go. We didn't want to have to go all the way back to flip slide. No more no rainbow flashes. What the deal with that? Chapter 5-1. Turning all the way back to the beginning. I'm not pointing at Flint Cragley. And I'm going to do something really bad to the Wacker. Oh, servants of Big Rock who watches Cragnons. So fair it up, you made it! Floor Sapiens, acting weird, bros. Cragnons, but you visit land of Floor Sapiens just once. Interesting. I'll see if I can visit that guy again. I do not know who says that. Subtract recording costs and press the and, and promo fees from Compact Rock Parts. Oh, Craig. Flint Productions is in red again this month. Why, brah? Why? Why? Did Hornfells need a rock? Did Hornfells cook it a ton? Maybe Hornfells try that. Well, hang on. Monzo heard you brah save the universe or something. Yeah, Monzo thought so. So Monzo need to ask a huge favor, brah. Could we do a reenactment of you saving the world? Your bras play yourselves. Flint production struggling. But you're destroying make us rise again, bras. Oh yeah. We could pay you. Uh hmm. A thousand pebbles sound good? Think it over, bruh. That never happens. And a thousand pebbles is not enough. That's like a hundred coins. So I guess it is enough if you think about it. But maybe it's not even a hundred coins, but more like ten coins. There's still nobody here. Not even if you flip into 3D. Something tells me I know whose house that is, but I might be wrong. There's Jasperoid. You getting your crag on, bruh? You happy? Hole and Scott gone. So nothing for Kragnos to worry about. Only one thing left. You get your crag on, bruh! Good. Good stuff. Good vibes. This I don't really need to worry about. But you... Ah, but the Wackers. Kimberly thinks Floral Sapiens planning something. Floral Sapiens planning to come capture lovely little Kimberly, bruh. Oh, no sleep. Too worried. Yeah, I visit this because I don't think I've visited it yet. Theme of Cragley, so cool. Especially that first 127. So tough and ragged, bruh. Again. Tough. Want to buy a compact rock and sing along and breakfast hot dance moves. Rock! Rock out, bruh! Tough and must add to the collection. I can't read it. Sorry, I almost messed that up again. Sky and river so pretty, bruh. Good feeling. Living in crap. No dirty in river, bruh. No throw out the trash, bruh. Live together in peace, bruh. Those cragged on mottos now. Holy sky gone and they so pretty, bruh. Food is so excellent. I eat El Fresco. <laughs> huh. Interesting. I mean outside, bruh. Look for it up. Meals eaten on the blue sky are tall. Tallest. I almost said tallest. Tastiest, brah. I'll talk to Flint after doing something absolutely horrid to the Wacka. I'm sorry. And many people wanted me to do it. But I don't like doing it. And I said I was not going to do it for a long time. Really forever. Because I freaking love these guys. They're so cute. Ugh. Gives me nightmares thinking about it. Just kidding. Doesn't give me nightmares, but I still don't want to do it. 